As someone new to the fountain pen world, what is a cheap way to try different size nibs? I've experimented with fine, extra fine, and medium, but I'm still interested in trying the italic, flex, and stub nibs. Is there any way to do that without spending a fortune? Uh, Lamy is probably going to be your best bet for trying the most variety of nibs. Uh, the Lamy Safari uh, is a very popular pen for exactly this purpose. The cool thing about Lamy's nibs is you can swap them off. Um, and sometimes you can pull it off just with your finger. Sometimes you need a piece of scotch tape. I'm looking over at my tape dispenser. You can't see it on the screen, but it's over there. Um, so you can slide these things right off. You can buy these nibs separately from the pen. So that makes it really convenient. So if you buy a Lamy Safari, you can get separate nibs. You get whatever nib comes on the pen, but all the nibs available are extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1, 1.5, and 1.9 millimeter, what they call italic. It's basically a stub. Um, so you ask about italic and stub, basically whatever you get from a pen company, especially with a swappable nib like this, it's gonna be a stub. Um, you're not gonna get a true crisp italic basically from anyone unless you get a custom ground and that's not going to be cheap. So that really doesn't kind of fit into your criteria there um, based on what you're asking of, get, of an affordable option there. And even then, if you're getting something custom ground, it basically, um, it's going to need to be kind of whatever you ask for. So it's hard to kind of just try it out. Unless you do like a meetup group with somebody that's had one ground or you go to a pen show and you're able to find a crisp italic somewhere, that might be a good recommendation. If you have any type of pen show anywhere near you and you can get there, you can try out a whole bunch of different pens if you just want to like literally try them once ever. Uh, and then you don't have to go necessarily buy all of them. Um, but for all of those nib options I just mentioned, Lamy is a great way to go. They don't have a flex nib option on their pens, um, but a Noodler's Ahab or a Conrad would be a great option for you. Or maybe the Nib Creeper uh, would be the most affordable one. Um, so they're what, 16, 16.10 uh, now. There's recently a price increase on the Ahab and the Nib Creeper. So the Ahab used to be 20, now it's 23. Um, I still like the Ahab the most, so I would recommend that one. So between a Noodler's Ahab, which is gonna give you that flex experience, that's gonna be 23, and then the Safari, which is just under 30, plus all the different nib options. So you can get a flex nib, Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1, 1.5, and 1.9 with the pen uh, for about $131, which is definitely no small investment, but to be able to write with all those different nib sizes, it's not too bad. So that would be the most economical option that I can really think uh, to be able to do that. Now, of course, there are other options, like if you wanted to get a Pilot Metropolitan that comes in a fine and a medium, you could try that. Those pens are only $15, so it's not that much more than the, the nib, Lamy nib, and then you get a whole pen. So there's other things you can do with it to kind of, uh, you know, finesse your experience a little bit. There's a, you know, a Pilot Parallel is pretty inexpensive, and they have, you know, those are more of a stub, italic type of thing, and they have a 1.5, a 2 point, shoot, what is it, 2.3 or 8, gosh, I can't remember now, 2.8, 3 point, no, 2 point, this is bad. I think it's 2.3 and then like a 3.8 and a 6.0. This is bad. I can't remember. I haven't looked at the parallels in a little bit, so I need to play around with parallels some more. So there's Pilot Parallel, Pilot Plumix. There's some other more affordable like stub italic type options for you that you could also look into. But that should at least give you an idea of where you should start.